Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. Today we're going to do pork belly candy bites on the Oklahoma Joe. So what you want to do is cut up your pork belly into one inch squares. And we're going to rub this down with some Uncle Steve's shake. It's This is a gator shake here. And I'm telling you this one here is freaking amazing. I love this rub. Steve did a great job on this one. Also, we are going to put the spicy R from the same place. This stuff, it, between this and the Gator Shake, is probably my favorite so far. Uh, the other two, I'm still going to try out. But for now, this is what's going to go on this pork belly. All right, now that I just finished up seasoning the pork belly candy bites, we are going to go ahead and start up this Longhorn. And what I have here is two large splits of cherry wood and a, and a basket three quarters full of the Weber briquettes. Okay, well our coals are started. All I'm gonna do is leave this firebox door open for about 10 minutes to let these things catch up. Let that wood catch and make sure that your firebox is cleaned out from your previous cook So today we're gonna try something that I've never seen before And as you can see I put all these pork belly candy bites on skewers. I have a total of 12 skewers and That pork belly fit each one of them perfectly Just be sure to space them out so you get a nice bark around all the edges for and for even cooking this is the first time i'm trying this this could be a fail it could be a win but we're going to find out the point of doing this is to make it easier to put them in the foil pans when i go to add my butter and brown sugar and honey so all we want to do from here is start maintaining temps between 250 and 275 i'm going to push for 275 and we're going to go ahead and put them skewers on the racks uh, right now, we're not quite ready. I'm kind of waiting for this smoke to turn, you know, like to a light, thin blue smoke or no smoke at all would be perfect, which I did have it during the seasoning process once all the once the oil was caked in. Uh, I'll give you a look at the coals. It's been 15 minutes. It's looking pretty good. You can see that wood, the splits are starting to light up, and that's what I'm waiting for. My firebox vent is at uh, is open halfway, and my stack is wide open. So once I get up to my close to my 275 degrees, I'm going to go ahead and start maintaining my temperatures with this flap or with the exhaust flap. All right. Well, in the beginning of the video, I had mentioned that I had 12 of these, which I do own 12 of these skewers, but I'm only using 10. I do apologize for that. But as you can see, they fit very nice on this Oklahoma Joe Longhorn. And just give you a close look at what they look like. Being that these are stainless steel, I'm just gonna leave them all the way in, as you can see. And I'll just have some hot gloves uh, so I don't burn my hands or whatnot. And rotate these like every maybe half hour, 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna leave these on with temperatures of approximately 275 degrees and just check on them periodically uh, rotate if i have to so i might have to take this half put over here and then this half over here just all the pens because this side runs a lot cooler it may show hotter on the gauge uh but your heat's coming straight out of here and hitting this gauge i mean that's why this thing would be probably 20 25 degrees hotter but that's not the case down here at the grate so at the grate level it's going to be cooler than over here because your firebox um is what's going to um, create a bunch of the heat on great level on this side okay so we're gonna let this baby fire up and uh, and go from there okay as you can see here uh, this is our hotter zone and over here is a little bit cooler zone but I'd like for you guys to see how they're turning out so far we are one hour into this cook and they look like they're cooking faster over on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate these. I'm going to take uh, these five and put them over there and then th these five over here. 
All right, they're all rotated. And as you can see, we should be coming up with some even cooking here shortly. We'll check back in an hour and see what they look like and go from there. I like to show you guys here, having them on the skewers is really nice. You guys look at that color. Man, them things are turning out really nice. These here are a little extra charred, but that's fine. Not a big deal. We are about two and a half hours in, and I am getting ready to pull these and put them in the aluminum foil pans. And as you can see, you can just take some tongs. You can rotate whenever you want. You know, spritz them really nice. So I am really liking this idea. I don't know about you know in like the Weber kettles or anything because I haven't tried them yet uh, not sure if these are too long for it or not but we will find out see these here aren't too bad these here were in the beginning why they're so extra charred is because they were right here in the very end so here all you'll see that I added a little bit of uh, some squeeze butter it's parquet some honey and brown sugar gonna go ahead and uh, get them wrapped up with some heavy-duty aluminum foil in this foil pan I also like to say when I had emptied these off the uh, skewers they just came right off like butter no problem okay so here they are foiled up in the foil pan I'm gonna set the timer for one hour and after a half an hour goes by I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that for even cooking and we shall return all right so all I did is I added this wonderful sweet heat bacon barbecue if you guys ever haven't tried sweet heat products you're missing out i'm telling you this stuff is awesome and that's the bacon barbecue brew here i uh, added a little bit more of that uncle steve's gator shake and i'm going to tell you right now it's amazing over here you'll see my fat separator which i drained it in before i added the barbecue sauce and the gator shake so we're going to put these back on the pit, uncovered, for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, and these babies should be good. I mean, just, just look at this. I mean, I, we can eat them right now. Look at, look at how they just fall apart. All right, sorry about that. Yes, they are amazing. But we're going to go ahead and put them back on the pit for about 15, 20 minutes and see how they turn out. So I went ahead and pulled off the candy bites, half an hour to let this glaze over, and look at that, perfect candy bites. I'll try to go ahead and pick one up, get a little taste test here, ooh they're hot, but they are so beautiful, so tender. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, very good. Sorry about the wind, guys. So I took um, a little bit of that aju from that uh, fat separator and sprinkled some over the top. Hey guys, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Comment below if you have any questions on what I've done with this cook. This Oklahoma Joe's Longhorn Reverse Flow Edition Yes, highly recommend it to anybody, any new beginner. Uh, if you're an advanced cooker, but you know don't have much money, the 600 bucks, you know, with the mods I've done, you might be looking at around 700, you know. But this thing is almost, literally, almost. If you do it right, almost set it and forget it. Okay. So, like I said again, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it down below. Thank you and have a great day. And again. Sorry for the wind. We're about to have tornado warnings out here. You know, it's starting to get really crappy out here. Eh, nothing that we're not used to. It's been, what, 10 weeks of rain and all this other crap. So, um, again, you guys have a great day.